Wonder Boy Brewery here. We are at my friend Tony's house, and he is about to brew a extract or a partial. Is it a partial or an extract? All extract? No, it's partial. A partial mash of uh, cream ale. I'm gonna turn it over to Tony. Tony. Hi, welcome. All right. Uh, so this is my kitchen. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess. We're doing a lot of things tonight. I have just put in two and a half gallons of water. Um, put some heat on it. I'm getting ready to go. I'm gonna put my. Uh, Put my grain in a sock. Let's hit that in there to steep. Pilsen. Uh, do you have do you have a smell sensor smell, on that? Because it is beautiful. Oh man. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Alright. There's a little careful in there. It has to be. And then we got some uh, we got some cluster hops, which is the only hops, which I guess goes at 60. Yeah, it does. 60 minute boil. Hops goes in the whole time. It's not a real hoppy beer. It's a refreshing, uh, this is a, a cream ale. It's a refreshing, sort of a summer drink. Um, that's why I'm making it uh, for the second time in a row. Last time I did it with Darren, Wonder Boy Brewery. We made an all grain tonight. Desperate times. <laughs> desperate times for desperate, desperate measures. measures. See, this, We're is, making it, uh, this is awesome because basically. <laughs> Tony's doing what I do. Like I like brewing, but sometimes I don't like the the brewing of an all. Oh man, I missed that. <laughs> he just licked the table where the, uh, the the grain dust fell. Anyway, but like you know, sometimes we want to brew, but sometimes we don't want to brew all day. So we'll do a partial mash or or an extract, which takes like you know two hours instead of six. The important part is that you have beer in the cake. Oh, most definitely. And with this, we have beer in the keg. So we're going to pop that in there, and we're, we're going to let that, that steep for a half an hour. We're going to do it. We're going to let it steep for about 20 minutes. And we're going to watch this, and we're going to pull it out if this reach, uh, reaches 170. Okay, now let me show this, because I love doing this. Right now, that water's clear. When we come back and check after steeping for a little bit, it's going to be nice and caramely, probably like a caramel color. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Or, or like caramel. It's not a real heavy beer, so it's going to be a little bit of a light one, but yeah. So the key is that 170 degrees, it extracts the sugars you need. Uh, above that, you're pulling the wrong sugars, or you're cooking the sugars, or something bad happens. Yeah, you get like so, tannins and stuff like that, Yeah, which is so we're gonna good. we're going to keep this uh, in there until 170 degrees. I'm going to take it off the heat, and then we're going to move on with this procedure. Excellent. Okay, I don't know if you can see because of uh, what's going on in here, but... Um, the water is a nice caramel color now. But uh, look at that. That used to be clear water. And now we're steeping to get some delicious flavor out of the grains for the cream ale. What I should be Walt doing? Joined, Walt joined us. He looks a little sleepy today. You know what? Um, uh, this is a good, a good moment to talk about um, cleaning your equipment. All right, talk away. I'm going to take advantage of this time I have while this is coming up to temperature, and I'm going to... Sanitize my, um, I don't know what you call it, the, the bucket, the bucket that it settles in. I'm gonna sanitize that thing right, that, that the thing right there. Bucket. It's right behind me. I've got a, I, I, I'm out of my sanitizing, my iodine sanitizing solution. So I'm gonna use a bleach mixture, which is fine. Yeah, which is fine. It'll kill whatever yuckies are in there. So I'm gonna do that right now. Well, this is coming in temperature, so it's good to go for when we. Uh, oh, how embarrassing. That's okay, I'm not filming any of that. Okay. Any of that rib carnage. <laughs> there is <laughs> massive rib carnage in my... Let's just do this. Oh. So basically he's just going to use a bleach solution as opposed to an iodine solution as opposed to a... Was it uh sanitizing, sanitizing, there's a Be Bright, there's all kinds of solutions out there. You just basically want to make sure your equipment and your fermenting bucket is nice and sanitized before using it. That way you don't introduce anything into the beer. Okay, so um, we are using, can you use any bleach? It happens to be Clorox bleach. Um, I'm going to get a close-up on that, so just in case they want to use this and then and then we can um, get some money. Yeah, that's not okay. going to happen. The important part is that... Um, what is it? Sodium chloride. That's the important part. That kills the yuckies. Uh, we're going to add exactly. Kills now, the yuckies. I mind 
Alright, I remind you exactly. 1.3 ounces. <laughs> oh, 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 that's, that's 1.3. <laughs> and some water. You just want to add enough bleach to make it smell a little bit like chlorine. It doesn't have to be overwhelming, just a little bit like chlorine. And then fill it with water the rest of the way. Nope. <laughs> it's all good. Awesome.